John Leo Corman at the Ohio Sports Chiropractic here with Zach. And we're going to go through some uh, foot drills, stuff to help strengthen some of the tendons that cross the foot and ankle um, that are really important for running and any, any sport really that involves running. Um, there's six of them. And basically with these, with these six ones, uh, six exercises, what you want to do is you want to be uh, in a clear path, soft ground, so generally carpet, not hard, hardwood floors or concrete. Um, this more importantly, probably grass, but in the winter months, that's not usually the case. Uh, the first one is the only one that we'll do with uh, shoes on. Uh, the rest of them are to be done in bare feet and uh, uh, socks off. And uh, you generally want to do these for about 30 meters, okay? So, uh, or about a third of the length of the track, um, straight around the track. Okay, so the first one is, he's going to, it's real simple, he's going to walk on his heels, and again, you're going to do this for 30 meters, and you want to keep good foot, foot motion when he's doing this one. So again, these, this is the only one with the shoes on, and you're going to walk for 30 meters with this to help strengthen some of the muscles in the front of the shin. Okay, so again, I have to say he went 30 meters in this one. The next one is you, you're going to slip off the shoes. He's going to walk backwards on your tippy toes as high up as you can. So again, this one's backwards on the tiptoes as high as he can, making sure that you don't have any socks on, you have good soft surface. <clears throat> again, say he goes 30 meters on that one. The next one is... He's going to walk in the inside part of his foot, so going through what we call inversion, and it's kind of an odd one, but he's walking on his fore, on the inside part of his foot, strengthening some of the muscles on the outer part of the leg, and again going for 30 meters, and then he's going to turn around, and he's going to walk in the outer part of the foot. Now, if any of these create pain. Uh, they're hard to do, they create pain. Don't do those ones. Try to do as many as you can uh, that aren't painful. Um, there are some foot conditions in cases that th that one would be pretty sore, but again, if it's tender, don't do those. The next, the final two are real easy. He's gonna turn his feet in, so he's walking on his forefoot, real high up on his tippy toes, while his foot is all the way turned in. And then the last one is the exact opposite. Feet are all the way turned out, and he's walking on his tiptoes. <clears throat> and again, you want to do these for about 30 meters before or after uh, running or, or uh, practice would be okay. Uh, generally, most of the time, these are done after the run or after the practice. Um, and Doing them on a daily basis is, is would be really healthy for the foot and ankle. And that's it.